Hello, this is James from Bad Cat, and today I'm going to show you how you can fix a slight bug with Windows 10, which some people have experienced, where they've installed, they've done their upda update, and for some reason they've got no sound. And clicking on the uh, volume icon, you check the slider, make sure your sound is up, make sure that the uh, speakers aren't muted, and everything looks fine, but there's just no sound coming from your, uh, your PC or your laptop. Well this is a problem and uh, I'm going to show you how you can fix it. Now the first thing you need to do is get to Device Manager because we're going to uninstall our, our sound card, our sound uh, drivers. Uh, so go to Device Manager and there's several ways you can do that. You can right click on the Start button and choose uh, Properties or you can just easily type Device Manager into Cortana and go to Update Device Drivers and that will take you to Device Manager. Alternatively, click on your Notifications icon and go to All Settings. And do the same thing, just do a search for Device Manager. And that will take you straight to it, if you don't want to mess around. Or of course, there's the uh, long-winded old-fashioned way. You go to Control Panel, go to System, and then click on Device Manager. So, however way you want to do it, get into Device Manager and look down your list of hardware and you're looking for sound, video and game controllers. Now, I've got two uh, controllers in there and they look alright. There's no warning signs to say there's a problem. And if I just quickly check the properties, with the device is working perfectly, it says. But it's not, so I'm going to just right click and uninstall. And I'm going to uninstall both of those which I recommend you do and then just reboot Windows and when it comes back to life it will reinstall your sound hardware hopefully with the correct drivers and that may well solve your problem but if you do that and you've still got no sound then there's some other settings that we just need to check as well now either one of these or a combination or all of them will fix your problem so click on your volume icon and go to playback devices and we're looking for our speaker settings here. Now you might just have speakers in there or you might have several like I do but really we're looking for this one for speakers which should be set as default and if we select our speakers and then go to properties what we want to do is go to the enhancements tab and just make sure there's a tick in disable all enhancements put a tick in there and apply that and then just test to see if you're getting any sound now. Some people, this has fixed the problem at this point and everything's good. So you just check to see are you getting any sound. If you're not, then we need to come up to this next tab, the Advanced tab, and look at our default sample rate. And we're going to just kind of change that from 16-bit to something else, something higher. Just go up to 24-bit and just check that, apply, test your sound. Are you getting sound now? If you are, you've solved your problem. Uh, if not, then we need to just come into the configuration. Our speaker setup configuration there. Now depending on your hardware, you might have uh, something different here. But really we just want to go and select our speaker setup and click on the next button. And we're looking for this full range speakers setting front and left front left and right put a tick in there click finish test your sound hopefully you've got your sound back now um, this is what's fixed it for the majority of people and hopefully by doing this one of these or all of these uh, changing all of these settings you will now have your sound back working perfectly so thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe as there's more videos coming soon.